Good morning, everybody. Today we're going for some ski lessons. I haven't been skiing since middle school, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of terrified, but I think it's gonna be fun. We're going to be fitted with skis, and then we're gonna go for some ski lessons, and then we're gonna try to not break a leg. Oh, let's not hit a vehicle. Okay. Thank you. We have new mittens because every time we seem to have an activity, we have a piece missing. This time we couldn't find a pair of matching gloves, which you would think in a house with three children, we'd have matching gloves. We have drawers full of gloves, but none of them match. We're arriving at Sugarloaf Provincial Park. Lexus is with me and we're going to do some ski lessons first because I think that will prevent injuries. and I'm just waiting for Alexis to come out with the instructor. But when I was talking to the guy fitting the boots, I was like, I haven't done this since probably middle school. And he was like, don't worry, dear. It's just like riding a bike. And then I was like, I can't do that either. Uh, ski instructor if the bumps on the bear trap would act kind of like speed bumps and slow us down and then um, he laughed. I think he thought I was joking. I wasn't. I kind of forgot that I'm scared of heights. So Alexa stayed behind with the ski instructor because she didn't feel quite ready to tackle the bigger slopes which I totally understand it's her first time I on the other hand for some reason thought this was a good idea I'm second guessing that the instructor is super good though he's very patient and um, give, gave us a lot of good pointers so I feel like Alexis feels a lot more comfortable than she did in the very beginning <laughs> skiing and we're all done with that and it was an absolute blast I had a great time I didn't break any limbs so that was a win I'm so happy that I went because I will 100% buy a ski pass next year I loved it the one thing I would recommend if you've never been skiing before I think the best investment would actually be to pay for the classes. If you're anything like me, if I had just gone there never having skied, strapped on a pair of skis and tried to tackle the hill, I would have been terrified. I would have felt overwhelmed and 
I probably wouldn't have gone back. I think the biggest mistake for first time skiers is not taking a lesson or two. And the instructors are so awesome. You know, you don't walk before you crawl. So they take you on this little practice hill and then you graduate to the T-bar and then you make it all the way to the chairlift and the bigger slopes. And by the time you get to the bigger slopes, you're not afraid to take them on. We're so lucky that this is in our backyard. It's actually incredible. This being said, I'm done with skiing for the day. I'm going to go get my son and I'm gonna actually head back to Sugarloaf Park because I'm gonna take him skating. There's this cute little pond right in front of the lodge. Yeah, he's gonna love it. So we're gonna go skating for a while and then I'm going to be going out to eat with my boyfriend, which will be awesome. Just the two of us, a nice dinner, couple cocktails at the 1026 Bar and Grill. So I'm excited. There's honestly something for everyone at Sugarloaf Park between the downhill skiing, the cross country skiing, you can rent tubes to slide, there's snowshoe trails, it's absolutely beautiful. Our ski instructor was the sweetest man and he gave us a lot of good tips. Alexis had never been on skis before and by the end she was pretty good. It was a win. I'm headed over to the 1026 Bar and Grill. We're gonna have dinner there and some drinks. Not Alexis, obviously. <laughs> Adults. <laughs> and then we're gonna spend the night at the Quality Inn, which is awesome because the hotel's attached to the restaurant, so you don't even need to go outside. No cabs, no problem. Just mosey on to our room after we're done eating. is the cherry on the cake. One of the perks of the restaurant here is that you don't even need to go outside to come and hang out in your hotel room. It is, it is adjacent. It's a, just a hallway away. Have a little drink going on here that I will be enjoying in this cozy chair by the bed. I'm excited. The older you get, this is the kind of stuff that excites you. A bathrobe and sleeping in. So this room has a killer view of the Ruskish River. We're on the fifth floor and the window is directly facing the water. It's beautiful. I'll be sure to show you tomorrow though because it's really late and dark right now. So you might see some lights, but you wouldn't see a whole lot. Tomorrow, when I get up, that'll be the first thing I do. Also, the Quality Inn is awesome. I'm absolutely loving it. It's really comfortable. This chaise, can we talk about this chaise? Can I bring this home? It's a humongous, humongous 
chair. It could fit two of me, but I'm glad that I'm alone in it because <laughs> I can hog it all I want. <laughs> when you have three kids, you don't often have personal space. If you're a parent, you'll probably understand this. I love the cuddles, I totally love them. But you know, sometimes you just want to sit on a giant chair by yourself. In all honesty, one of the things that I found the hardest during this time, I won't say the word, I won't name it by name, kind of like Voldemort. Due to the current state of the world, I really miss travel. We usually travel several times a year. We're a family that has always prioritize traveling and we genuinely love it. I look forward to it. And this year has been hard because that wasn't really allowed. But what I've discovered is staycations can be just as fun and just as effective to recharge your batteries. One night alone with a cozy, comfortable bed, some drinks, and able to sleep in. I recommend everyone does it. If you can, do it. All the moms out there will appreciate this. night now and I will see you all in the morning with an amazing view of the river. Big thank you to Destination Restigush for sponsoring this video. They are amazing and I'm going to link all of their info down below for you so be sure to check them out. Bye bye!